Let's make a car drift smoke animation in Blender. First, set up the scene by adding a circle to act as the flow. Then add a BJ circle to create the path for the car. Position them accordingly and feel free to add extra elements for more detail. Finally, import your rig car model. Select the back tire and enter the edit mode. Select the faces we want to emit smoke from. Duplicate them with Shift D and press P to separate them into a new object. Repeat this process for the other back tire. In edit mode, delete any unwanted faces from the new object. Then select both separated tire object and press Press Ctrl J to join them into a single object. After that, parent this new emitter object to any part of the car so the smoke follows the tire. Now let's animate the car drift. Select the car rig and add a follow path bone constraint. Set the tire to the basic circle. Animate it by adding keyframes so the car smoothly follows the circle while drifting. With the car animation ready, it's time to add smokes. Select the emitter object, go to the object menu, select quick effect and click on quick smoke. Blender will automatically apply the smoke setting and create a smoke domain. Next, select the smoke domain and scale it to fit your scene. In the physics tab, enable is planar, set the surface emission to 0.5, enable initial velocity and set the source value to 0.5. Once done, go to the frame 1 and hit play to see the effect in action. You can also add keyframe to use the flow option, controlling when the smoke starts and stops. That's it, your car drift smoke animation is ready to go. Experiment with the smoke settings and animation curves to add your personal touch. Follow Art of V for more.